Hello, sixth graders. Um, I'm here with a quick overview of chapter two and three and what we've read to this point with Hatchet. Um, so this is another one of those books that um, every ending of a chapter, it leads you to wanting to read more. Uh, because at the end of chapter three, as you see or have read, um, the plane crashes. Brian makes it to shore, and then he passes out. What happens next? You'll have to wait until next week to find out. So don't read ahead. Um, some of the things that are main ideas, I wanted to make sure that you understood those things. Um, and so uh, that's why I'm here doing this. Um, one of the themes that you'll see is adversity and growth and brian uh, goes through so many things and has already been through some stuff with the divorce and the secret and um, obviously now this plane crash this is a young kid uh, about your age who was traveling to visit his father from new york to canada and then this plane crash happens um, Adversity is all over the place. Adversity are the problems that we face, the things that we have to overcome, uh, challenges and so forth that we face each day. But you can't just succumb to those problems. You have to grow from those those things that are thrown your way. How do you overcome those problems? And that's what this book is all about. Um, and it does a really good job of, of showing... Um, how how Brian can overcome his problems, but also you can make your own connections to your life. What are some things that you have to overcome? So adversity are those problems that come up and how you overcome that. For chapters two and three, um, you know, <laughs> flying with somebody he didn't know, a little adverse as far as what you would ideally do. Um, there aren't many people who would send a, a young person on a plane by themselves, um, let alone a, a small aircraft like that. Um, then you have the heart attack. Then you have, what is he going to do? Um, in chapter two and three, you know, getting, getting to the point where we look back at, um, why did this pilot show Brian how to use the pedals? Is that a normal thing that they do on planes? Um, you know, I, I didn't fly a lot. I'm scared of heights. I don't like flying. Um, but you know, I was never called up to the front of the plane to see how things work. Of course, I was like 20 the first time I flew. Um, but I've never sat in with a pilot. Is it just by chance that he learned how to fly, uh, even a little bit? Was it a learned skill or was it just luck, a coincidence, happen chance here that this this is something that's afforded to him while he's flying? Um, and then obviously going from the flying to the crashing, the sputtering engine, his gas is uh, going away, the nose dive down, um, where he lands. These are all uh, challenges that he has to overcome. Um, and we won't know how he grows from those things until later. But what are you thinking? Can he grow from this? Or is this a trauma that impacts the way that he lives the rest of his life? Um, so as, as we look at survival, is this survival? He made it in this crash. He's made it to the shore. He faints. He's exhausted end scene that's that's where we're at here um but some ideas to to continue to think about as we're reading um again the adversity and growth more problems will arise how does he learn from those things um and that adversity and growth is is a huge idea in the story we have independence versus connection think of yourselves as as middle schoolers so many of you seek independence we seek independence by um typically pushing away our families at your age um and so is independence what you truly want um and as you you get a little bit older 
um, even into you know eighth grade, we want so many things that we can just do on our own without having to worry about parents breathing down our necks or whoever is in charge of you. But what's most important? Is it the connections that we have with others or is it being able to decide things on your own? Um, for this guy who just had a plane crash and he's all alone, except for the dead guy who was in the plane, is it great that he's independent and he gets to figure things out? Or is he going to want his mommy? Or his dad. Um, and so independence versus connection is a big idea as we continue reading. And then battle with nature. You know, the plane crashing was was the first battle with nature. The trees that you had to clip and their wings got ripped off. And then getting into the water and getting out of the water. But so many more things happened. So the battle with nature creates those moments of adversity for Brian. And then those are things that he has to overcome. And so um, he'll grow from those things. So three chapters in, a lot of things have happened, but then at the same time, not a whole lot has happened. So we've got the plane crash. We've got what appears to be his survival. Obviously, the book continues. So we do know that he wakes up from this faint and exhaustion at the end of chapter three. So we'll find out more next week. Um so don't forget today, uh, Friday, as you're looking at this, um, you've got a vocab test. You've got no red ink due Monday. Next week is a four-day week, and we end it on Thursday. No, no vocab test next week. Um, so we'll continue reading Hatchet. We'll have some no red ink work next week. That should be pretty easy, um, and some journal activities. In the meantime, um, let me know what you think of the book. Um, send me messages with any questions that you have. And um, we'll continue getting to know Brian Robeson in the coming weeks. So have a great day. And I look forward to, to hearing from you guys soon. Bye-bye.